Next week on BBC's EastEnders, Ben's dramatic exit looms as he faces the consequences of a past crime, while Double returns stir trouble. Dean's dark revenge unfolds with Jade's health at risk. Meanwhile, former call the midwife star Leonie Elliott reflects on her departure and hints at future projects. Next week's BBC EastEnders spoilers, a twist in Ben's exit, a double return, and sick Dean's retaliation. Watchers of the BBC soap opera EastEnders can expect a mix of surprises, sinister turns, and departure clues next week, as some characters return while others go afoul of the law. Next week, a number of characters in the BBC soap opera EastEnders will have significant sequences. One character will make a significant discovery after two returns that has the potential to break up a couple. One of the main characters will eventually leave the scenes. Another departure appears imminent, as spoilers have now revealed Ben Mitchell's probable way out of the BBC serial opera. More information about this tough period for his family is expected to surface the following week. The plot of Dean Wicks then takes a sinister new turn as he keeps tampering with his daughter Jade's medication. Is there a resident who might be in serious danger as he frames someone else? The main events in Walford for the upcoming week are listed below. Return twice. Next week, two well-known characters will return to EastEnders, but disaster is on the horizon for the BBC soap opera. After spending several months abroad and returning from a recent vacation to Milton Keynes, Whitney Dean is finally returning to Walford. Prior to her final departure from the program, the pregnant character makes a comeback while she and Zach Hudson are having a rocky relationship. Though she is returning to Walford alone, she is accompanied by adolescent Brittany, whom she met in Milton Keynes when seeing her stepmother Bianca Jackson. Zach makes the decision to host Whitney in the Vic a welcome home baby shower the following week. Whitney soon returns home with Brittany, who introduces herself as her new foster mother. Zach is devastated, and Whitney quickly tells her lover of the news. Ben's departure maneuver after assuming the role in 2019, Max Bowden made the announcement months ago that he would be departing the show. Fans were upset by the twist, and there were contradictory rumors regarding whether the actor was written out or quit the program. Due to a historic crime that is believed to have occurred while he was in America, new spoilers have hinted to the character's potential release from prison. In the midst of his friend Lola Pierce's death on the show last year from a brain tumor, Ben traveled to the U.S. Given that Ben wasn't in America for very long, there is considerable uncertainty about what he may have done to warrant an arrest and a potential exit for the character so quickly. Nevertheless, spoilers don't reveal too much about the plot or the exit, the soap opera hasn't confirmed any specifics yet. What is known is that, as he is being held in scenes that will air next week, his loved ones are in a state of disarray as they wait for word and attempt to understand what is happening. According to spoilers, when information about a past crime comes to light while Ben is being held at the Walford police station, he asserts his innocence. Less than a year after her mother's death, Phil receives a call from Ben later in the week with a request, and Ben's daughter Lexi is terrified to hear what has transpired. Ben's mother Kathy becomes suspicious of Phil's conduct, and Ben's husband Callum tries to help by using his job to his advantage, but it looks like Ben will leave in some capacity at the end of this chapter. Dean's vile retaliation next week on EastEnders, Dean Wicks will exact revenge on Jean Slater as his dark secret is revealed. Although Jean has been assisting Jade with her fundraiser, Dean has been interfering with her medication, which has made her quite sick. Although the audience is aware of Dean's actions, the square is oblivious to him and worries about Jade's declining health. As Jade returns to the square so soon after being admitted to the hospital following her breakdown during the Queen Vic fundraiser the next week, Jean, a viewer of the BBC soap opera, is taken aback. When a reporter from the Walford Gazette wants to speak with Jean about all that has been going on with Jade in the square, Dean leaves Jean in charge of watching after Jade and making sure she's okay. The businessman will undoubtedly become enraged when Johnny intervenes and offers he provide the interviewer with a character reference on Dean. When Jean questions Jade alone about her health, she finds out that Dean has been giving her medicine. When she discovers the empty pill cases, she realizes she must get Jade out of her father's home. Upon reaching his house, Dean is shocked to witness Jean attempting to drag Jade back to the Slaters. He quickly assumes that Jean is to fault for Jade's ailing condition. Lucille left the BBC, why? Will actor Leonie Elliott make a comeback and call the midwife? 
Leonie Elliott of Call the Midwife portrayed nurse Lucille Robinson in the BBC historical drama from 2018 till her departure last year. She was not present in the most recent series. The current season of Call the Midwife has a few more episodes left, and former cast member Leonie Elliott has been noticeably absent lately from the adored period drama. The 35-year-old actor's most well-known role on the show is that of nurse Lucille Robinson. In the seventh season, which debuted in 2018, Leonie became a member of the cast, her character's demise was revealed in the twelfth season, which aired the previous year. After going through a trying time and losing a pregnancy, Lucille made the decision to move out of Poplar. Amidst the difficulties surrounding migration in the UK at the time, the heroine was also subjected to harassment in her community before leaving. Struggling with her mental state, Lucille departed to Jamaica, abandoning non natus house and her husband Cyril Robinson, portrayed by Zephyrin Tate. Although she hasn't been seen on television, she has been mentioned a few times subsequently. It is rumored that she started a new job in the Caribbean. In January of last year, Leonie wrote a letter to her admirers on social media before of her character's on-screen demise. The performer revealed that she deeply cares for Lucille herself and talked about filming her last episodes. At the time, she stated in a post, it was so challenging to film this season. I appreciate all of your wonderful remarks. I'm hoping that if viewers can recognize the positive aspects of her, they would be able to do the same for actual individuals. The actor went on, I genuinely care for her. Many others relate her tale of depression and miscarriage, as well as her experiences with abuse, whether it be racist or not. Many of us face mental health challenges, I hope we can continue to love, support, and listen to each other, she said in closing. Take care of one another and yourself. Weeks after the season finale, Leonie announced her departure from the program. She said, Thank you all for embracing Lucille and rocking with me on this journey, it is with a heart full of love and appreciation that I embark on Pastures New. Having spent six years on a truly wonderful show, with a fantastic team, I have fallen deeper and deeper in love with Lucille, she concluded in her message to the audience. I consider it an honor to have spoken for the trailblazing Windrush generation and their enormous influence on British culture. A huge thank you goes out to the incredible creative team, which includes Heidi Thomas, Pippa Harris, and Annie Tricklebank, as well as the outstanding cast. Again, I want to thank you for all of your help, it is really appreciated. Extremely looking forward to what's ahead, she wrote in her post's conclusion. Later, around the end of last year, Leonie talked about the prospect of going back to the show in an interview with Hello! Magazine. In a December episode of the podcast A Right Royal, she made an appearance as a guest. Never say never, she uttered. It is unknown if Lucille will make a comeback. I'm just thrilled that I got to have so much fun on that show and portray someone who's really struck a chord with people and everyone has really taken Lucille into their hearts. Probably not now for the foreseeable future, though. A few months ago, Leonie hinted that she was working on a new project after leaving Call the Midwife during her appearance as a guest on the podcast. Although she couldn't give any specifics just yet, she called it, very exciting. Please subscribe our channel.